Coming to the first problem, form the pair of linear equations in the following problems and find their solutions graphically. The first bit given is 10 students of 10th class took part in a mathematics quiz. If the number of girls is 4 more than the number of boys, find the number of boys and girls who took part in the quiz. Let us see the solution. So in this problem, we need to find the number of boys and number of girls. So let us assume number of girls is equal to x and number of boys is equal to y. According to the given problem, there are 10 students in the 10th class who took part in mathematics quiz. So we can add girls and boys to get the total number of students. So the total number of girls is x and number of boys is y. So when we add the number of girls and number of boys, we get the total number of students which is nothing but 10. So this is one linear equation which is x plus y is equal to 10. I assume this as equation number 1. Again according to the second condition which is nothing but the number of girls is 4 more than the number of boys. That means if suppose x is the number of girls and y is the number of boys so x minus y is nothing but 4 this is because the number of girls is 4 more than the number of boys so we can say x minus y is equal to 4 this is the second equation so one part of the question is completed which is nothing but we have found the pair of linear equations which those are x plus y is equal to 10 and x minus y is equal to 4 now we have to solve these linear equations graphically in order to find the values of x and y. Now the first linear equation is x plus y is equal to 10. So if x is equal to 0 then 0 plus y is equal to 10 which is nothing but y is equal to 10. So this is condition number 1 and if y is equal to 0 that implies x plus 0 is equal to 10 which is nothing but x is equal to 10. So if y is 0 we got x as 10 again if I take x is equal to 3. If x is 3, we get 3 plus y is equal to 10. That implies y is equal to 10 minus 3. So y is 7. So let us tabulate the found values in this tabular form. So I write here x and y. So initially when x is 0, y value is 10. So x is 0, y is 10. Now if y is 0, x is 10. Again, if x is 3, we got the value of y as 7. In the similar manner, let us uh, tabulate the values of the second equation also. Now, so I assume the value of x as when x is equal to 7. That is, we, the equation becomes 7 minus y is equal to 4 which is nothing but minus y is equal to 4 minus 7 which is minus 3. So we got y is equal to 3. Now again when y is equal to 0 we get x minus 0 is equal to 4 which implies x is equal to 4. So when y is 0 the value of x is 4. Again when x is equal to 6 that is 6 minus y is equal to 4 minus y is equal to 4 minus 6 which is nothing but minus 2 which gives the value of y as 2. So when x is equal to 6 y is equal to 2. So let us tabulate the found values in the tabular form. So when x is 7 value of y is 3 and when y is equal to 0 x value is 4. Again when x is 6 the value of y is found as by using these tabular forms, 
we will plot a graph and thus find the values of x and y. Now let us take the first equation which is x plus y is equal to 10. The co coordinates are 0 comma 10, 10 comma 0 and 3 comma 7. So let us plot this point in this graph. So the first point is 0 comma 10 which is nothing but this one. This is 0 comma 10. So this is 9 and this one will be 10. The second point is 10 comma 0. 10 comma 0 is this point. And the third point is 3 comma 7. So this is 3 and this will be 7. Now we must join these three points in order to get the straight line x plus y is equal to 10. So the black points corresponds to the line x plus y is equal to 10. Now the second line is x minus y is equal to 4. The points are 7 comma 3, 4 comma 0 and 6 comma 2. We will plot these points in the graph. So the point is 7 comma 3. On x axis we have 7 and on y axis we have 3. So the point is this one 7 comma 3. Other point is 4 comma 0. This is 4 and on y axis we have 0 so the point becomes 4 comma 0. The third point is 6 comma 2. 6 is on the x axis and on y axis we have 2. So this is 6 comma 2. We must plot these blue points in order to get the straight line x minus y is equal to 4. So after joining the straight lines, we, go, we got the straight lines here. So this point is 0 comma 10 and uh, this one is 3 comma 7 and this point is 10 comma 0. So for, for this straight line, this point is 4 comma 0, this is 6 comma 2 and this one is 7 comma 3. So this is the straight line x minus y is equal to 4 and this one is the straight line x plus y is equal to 10. If we observe both of these straight lines meet at a common point which is 7 comma 3. So the point of intersection of the straight lines x plus y is equal to 10 and x minus y is equal to 4 is 7 comma 3. So now we can say that the value of x is 7 and the value of y is equal to 3. x is nothing but the number of girls and y is nothing but the number of boys. So by graphically we found out the values of x as 7 and y as 3. Therefore from the graph Since the point of intersection is 7 comma 3, this corresponds to x and this is y. The number of girls is equal to x which is nothing but 7 and the number of boys is y which is nothing but 3. Coming to the second bit. 5 pencils and 7 pen together cost 50 rupees whereas 7 pencils and 5 pens together cost 46 rupees. Find the cost of 1 pencil and that of 1 pen. So let us see the solution of this problem. In this problem we are required to find the cost of 1 pencil and the cost of 1 pen. So let us assume cost of 1 pencil is equal to x rupees and cost of one pen is equal to y rupees. So 5 pencils and 7 pens together cost 50 rupees. So the cost of 5 pencils is nothing but 5 multiplied by x and the cost of 7 pens is nothing but 7 multiplied by y. So the both of them together is 50 rupees. So we can write 5x plus 7y is equal to 50. So this is first equation.
and by using the second condition which is 7 pencils and 5 pens together cost 46 rupees so we can write cost of 7 pencils is nothing but 7 multiplied by x and cost of 5 pens is nothing but 5 multiplied by y so both of them together is equal to 46 rupees so 7 multiplied by x plus 5 multiplied by y is nothing but 46 that implies 7x plus 5y is equal to 46 so this is equation number 2 so in so the first and second equations are nothing but the required linear equations those are 5x plus 7y is 50 and 7x plus 5y is 46 now we must solve these two linear equations in order to find out the value of x and y. Now the first equation is 5x plus 7y is equal to 50. This can be written as 5x is equal to 50 minus 7y which is nothing but x is equal to 50 minus 7y divided by 5. So, when y is equal to 0, which implies x is equal to 50 minus 7 times of 0 divided by 5, that is nothing but 50 divided by 5, which is 10. So, when y is 0, the value of x is found to be 10. Now, when y is equal to 5, which implies x is equal to 50 minus 7 times of 5 divided by 5 which is 50 minus 7 5 35 divided by 5 that is equal to 15 divided by 5 which is 3 when y is 5 the value of x is 3 now when y is equal to 10 that implies x is equal to 50 minus 7 times of 10 divided by 5 which is equal to 50 minus 70 divided by 5 which is minus 20 divided by 5 that is equal to minus 4. So when y is equal to 10 the value of x is minus 4. So let us tabulate the found, found out values in the tabular form. So here I write x and here y. Now when y is equal to 0, the value of x is 10. When y is equal to 5, value of x is 3. Now, when y is equal to 10, the value of x is minus 4. Now, the second equation is 7x plus 5y is equal to 46. This can be written as 7x is equal to 46 minus 5y. This is nothing but x is equal to 46 minus 5y divided by 7. So now, when y is equal to minus 2, the value of x is x is 46 minus 5 times of minus 2 divided by 7. This is equal to 46 minus of minus is plus and 5 to 10 divided by 7. So 46 plus 10 is nothing but 56 divided by 7. This is equal to 8. So when y is minus 2, the value of x is 8. When y is equal to 12, that implies x is equal to 46 minus 5 times of 12 divided by 7. This is equal to 46 minus 5 12 is 60 divided by 7. So 46 minus 60 is nothing but minus 14 and this is divided by 7 so this is equal to minus 2 so when y is 12 the value of x is minus 2 let us tabulate these values in a tabular form here we write x and y so when y is equal to minus 2 the value of x is 8 and when y is equal to 12 the value of x is minus 2 so let us uh, plot the graph by using these tabulated values. The first equation is 5x plus 7y is equal to 50. The corresponding points of this equation are 10 comma 0. So on x axis we have 10 and on y axis 0. So 
the point 10 comma 0 is this one and the second point is 3 comma 5 so the 3 comma 5 is here and the third point is minus 4 comma 10 so on x axis we have minus 4 on, and on y axis we have 10 so if we join these three blue points we get the straight line 5x plus 7y is equal to 50 and the second equation is 7x plus 5y is equal to 46 so the first point of the second equation is 8 comma minus 2 so this is 8 and this is minus 2 so the 8 comma minus 2 will be this one and the next point is minus 2 comma 12 on x axis we have minus 2 and on y axis we have 12 so the point 8 comma minus 12 is this one so if we join these two green points we get the straight line 7x plus 5y is equal to 46 so after joining the blue points we got the straight line 5x plus 7y is equal to 50 the line in the blue is the first straight line which is 5x plus 7y is equal to 50 and now after joining the green points we got the straight line 7x plus 5y is equal to 46 so the line in the green represents the equation 7x plus 5y is equal to 46 if we observe both of these straight lines meet at a common point this point is nothing but the point of intersection of these two straight lines which is 3 comma 5 so the point of intersection is 3 comma 5 therefore point of intersection of the two straight lines is 3 comma 5 in the beginning we assumed cost of one pencil is x so which is nothing but the x is 3 so the cost of one pencil is rupees 3 and the cost of one pen is assumed as y rupees so y is nothing but 5 hence the cost of one pencil is 3 rupees and the cost of one pen is 5 rupees this ends our solution